If you would like to set up and schedule a YouTube live event on your YouTube channel, then stay tuned, watch this video all the way to the end as I show you how. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com, your place to grow your business using YouTube. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and schedule a live event on your YouTube channel. But before I do, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a brand new video to this channel. Now, YouTube Lives are a great way for you to connect with your audience on a live setting on YouTube. So setting up a YouTube Live will help you grow your channel and also your business if you're using YouTube for your business to get questions answered to your audience and your customers so that you can not only get more subscribers, you can also get more customers and leads as well. So to set up and schedule your YouTube Live, let's head on over to the trusty computer as I show you how. Okay, so here we are in good old YouTube and all we need to do, no matter where you are on the platform, as long as you're logged in, is to go up to the top here where it says create a video or post. Click on the little plus on the video and then select go live. So we go to youtube.com forward slash live streaming. So here you can see it asks you for a title. So let's go live streaming demo. Uh, we want our video to be public so that everyone can see it. Now, to schedule your video, you obviously go to schedule for later. Check that here. So let's put it in for there and let's go say for 2 p.m. Oh. So we have 2 p.m. So now we can select our um, category that we want to be put in. So we are always in how to win style. So I'm going to keep that. So now it's asking me which camera I want to use. So I'm just going to use the camera off my laptop and I can then select my Yeti here. Now we also have advanced settings. So by clicking on that, you are able to allow people to chat on the video, which is exactly what you want. If you have uh, age restricted content, then you definitely need to check this switch here. And there's more information if you need more about that. And if you have a paid promotion on your video, select this. And again, there's more information here. And this allows you to inform your viewers that you have paid content on your video, etc. And again, more information is there. So now we are set up here, we click on next. So now it wants to take a thumbnail. So there is our thumbnail. So this can obviously be uh, changed. So if you wanted to retake the thumbnail again, we'll just go. There we go, there's our thumbnail. And you can always go back and upload a custom thumbnail afterwards, which is what I recommend. So use a thumbnail that is consistent with your branding and that lets people know that it is a live video. And if you want to edit anything at any point, click on the pencil icon here and you can edit any of these details here. Again, you can go back into advanced, etc. Click on save, you're all done. Now, if you want to share your link to your video, you can click on the share button there. It gives you your URL. You also have the ability to embed the video. So click on embed, click on copy. It will copy all of this information here for you so you can embed this on your website, on a blog, anywhere you would like. And uh, you also have the ability to start the video at any point. So if you wanted to go one minute into it after you've done your hellos and how are you doings, all that sort of stuff, you can do that too. And then it will update the information there for you. Once you're done with that, click here and you're pretty much good to go. So if you want to, at any point, edit your live so you can schedule a number in the future. So if you want to edit these, go to your live streaming area and click on manage. So this will show you your live streams in the future. You want to edit it, click on the three dots here so you can edit, you can share it or you can delete it. So if we want to delete this, click on delete. Hey presto, all gone. 
and then we can go in and we can start a brand new one from scratch again and then to set up another one we simply fill out the information as we've just done one other thing you can do is when you have it scheduled go to your live dashboard and you can also leave a comment on your video before you go live so I like to tell people to uh, hit the notification button to be notified so click on live done so we'll have the uh, little comment on our video already so we can open up our video here so you can see on the video we have goes live in 24 hours we can set the reminder so we can add our reminder button on there here is our comment so we can invite people to comment on our video before it goes live so if you're sending an email out to your email list make sure to get people to ask questions on what they would like uh, all of that good stuff now as well one thing we'd also recommend and this is a bonus little uh, insider trick is click on edit add a good keyword rich description in here and you can change your thumbnail here as well uh, you can also update the uh, title of your video so make sure that this is optimized for the content that you are creating so good description have a good thumbnail good title on there as we know YouTube loves live video so if you have a good keyword rich title a good keyword rich description and of course all your tags and stuff in there as well you're going to have a higher chance of people coming across your videos because YouTube will promote it so there you go that's how you quickly and easily set up and schedule your YouTube lives and as I said earlier, they're a great way for you to connect with your audience, build your YouTube channel, and if you're using YouTube for your business, they're a great way to get leads and customers too. Now I'd love to know how you're going to use YouTube Lives on your YouTube channel. Let me know in the old comments area below. I'd love to see what you're using them for. And as always, if you've got a question about this or anything else to do with good old YouTubes, make sure to pop that also in ye olde comments below as well. And I'll do the best I can to help you get that question answered. Make sure to like and share this video with somebody who you believe this can help. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the old subscribe subscribe link somewhere here and the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a brand new video. Also as well, let's click on one of these bad boys here to grow your YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video soon. Bye for now.